Savitri, Book One, The Book of Beginnings, Canto Three, The Yoga of the King, The Yoga of the Soul's Release, A World's Desire Compelled Her Mortal Birth. One in front of the immemorial quest, protagonist of the mysterious play, in which the unknown pursues himself through forms and limits his eternity by the hours, and the blind void struggles to live and see, a thinker and toiler in the ideal's air, brought down to earth's dumb need her radiant power. His was a spirit that stooped from larger spheres into our province of ephemeral sight, a colonist from immortality. A pointing beam on earth's uncertain roads his birth held up a symbol and a sign. His human self, like a translucent cloak, covered the all-wise who leads the unseeing world. Affiliated to cosmic space and time, and paying here God's debt to earth and man, a greater sonship was his divine right. Although consenting to mortal ignorance, his knowledge shared the light ineffable, a strength of the original permanence entangled in the moment and its flow, he kept the vision of the vasts behind. A power was in him from the unknowable, an archivist of the symbols of the beyond, a treasurer of superhuman dreams. He bore the stamp of mighty memories and shed their grandiose ray on human life. His days were a long growth to the supreme a skyward being nourishing its roots on sustenance from occult spiritual founts, climbed through white rays to meet an unseen sun. His soul lived as eternity's delicate. His mind was like a fire assailing heaven, his will a hunter in the trails of light. An ocean impulse lifted every breath. Each action left the footprints of a god. Each moment was a beat of puissant wings. The little plot of our mortality touched by this tenant from the heights became a playground of the living infinite. This bodily appearance is not all. The form deceives, the person is a mask. Hid deep in man, celestial powers can dwell. His fragile ship conveys through the sea of years an incognito of the imperishable, a spirit that is a flame of God abides, a fiery portion of the wonderful, artist of his own beauty and delight, immortal in our mortal poverty. 
this sculptor of the forms of the infinite, this screened, unrecognized inhabitant, initiate of his own veiled mysteries, hides in a small, dumb seed his cosmic thought. In the mute strength of the occult idea, determining predestined shape and act, passenger from life to life, from scale to scale, changing his imaged self from form to form, he regards the icon growing by his gaze, and in the worm foresees the coming God. At last, the traveler in the paths of time arrives on the frontiers of eternity. In the transient symbol of humanity draped, he feels his substance of undying self and loses his kinship to mortality. A beam of the eternal smites his heart. His thought stretches into infinitude. All in him turns to spirit vastnesses. His soul breaks out to join the oversoul. His life is oceaned by that super life. He has drunk from the breasts of the mother of the worlds. A topless supernature fills his frame. She adopts his spirit's everlasting ground as the security of her changing world and shapes the figure of her unborn mites. Immortally, she conceives herself in him, in the creature, the unveiled creatrix works. Her face is seen through his face, her eyes through his eyes. Her being is his through a vast identity. Then is revealed in man the overt divine. A static oneness and dynamic power descend in him the integral Godhead's seals. His soul and body take that splendid stamp. A long, dim preparation is man's life. A circle of toil and hope and war and peace tracked out by life on matter's obscure ground. In his climb to a peak no feet have ever trod, he seeks through a penumbra shot with flame a veiled reality half known, ever missed, a search for something or someone never found, cult of an ideal never made real here, an endless spiral of ascent and fall, until at last is reached the giant point through which his glory shines for whom we were made, and we break into the infinity of God. Across our nature's borderline we escape into supernature's arc of living light. This now was witnessed in that sun of force, in him that high transition laid its base. Original and supernal imminence of which all nature's process is the art. The cosmic worker set his secret hand 
to turn this frail mud engine to heaven use.